Hello, this video is about a vet scale on a 902, but this could be also applied to a 902 on a floor scale. So this specific model is when I, it shows zero, which is fine. It was calibrated, but when I actually put weight on it, I'm standing on it, it still says zero, remove the weight, I try calibrating again and again and again, and I'm just not able to make this indicator go up at all. I made sure the back of the connector is all the way in, it's screwed all the way down, it still says zero. So what to do now is actually remove the pan from your vet scale and you'll see a black box called a junction box. So you'll notice how there's six screws get a screwdriver and start removing the screws and you remove the plate notice how i removed five screws so i'm on the last one so i'm actually just gonna loosen up and it's not coming out so move the plate and you can get a closer look at all the wiring in the vest scale you can see how there's no loose cables they're all soldered on those are fine move this up those are all fine they're on there you're looking for a loose connection where the wire broke off in there there's no loose cables anywhere on this frame of the vet scale so that means at least the cables here the load cell and the home run cable the home run cable being your cable from your junction box to your 902 it's not it's wired properly and this was a floor skill, you will check the wiring in here and make sure that it's all correct. Next will be to check the other end of the cable. Okay, we checked all the wiring and the vet skill itself, put the pan back on, the wiring is fine. But the indicator is still showing zero, even if I add weight to it. So what I could do is actually disconnect the four pin. And we're actually going to check the wiring in here. So what you're going to have to do is get a screwdriver, a really mini one, start loosening up these connections. You can see how it's coming out. It doesn't have to go all the way out because the bracket will fall off if you pull all the way out, but with your left hand, hold down the black end. With your right hand, twist counterclockwise. You see how there's threads? and you can pull out the cables look fine the thing is look at this cable if you can see closely the red cable broke off from the solder point this is the power so it was always going to read zero if one of these are loose your scale will never work so this is my problem and why it's always staying at zero no matter if I have a weight on it, no matter if I calibrate, no matter what I do, it's a wiring issue. Because so I checked the entire length of the cable all the way down, and there's no smashed or cut area. So how to fix this? What you're going to have to do is actually cut a little bit of the wire. See how some of it broke off. And this happens when someone yanks the cable not from the metal housing but from the actual cable itself it will actually you see how push strain on this end pull it a little bit this way yanked out broke off so what we're gonna do is you see how cut a little bit i want to just strip the wire if you don't have a wire stripper then this is going to be pretty much impossible to do and you will have to contact support to get a replacement home run cable if it's a floor scale or a vet scale a whole new platform because it's not easy because you need to solder on the other end so you're going to have to strip this wire you can see how a bare wire and you need to get your soldering iron and solder it back on to this end okay put it in a block right here clamps kind of hold it down 
So what I'm going to do is actually heat up this end. And there's actually some leftover wire. You can see where the cable broke off. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Do you see the cable? So I do have a dedicated video on how to solder a 4-pin. It's pretty much going to be the same steps. So this is called a 4-pin connector if you're wondering. It's 4 pins on this end. But what I'm going to do is actually heat up and put some solder on here. And I'm going to try because it's going to be a little difficult since this is shorter to join it together. If not, I'm going to have to unsolder the others and cut them down and then make them all the same length and then re-solder them back together. Let's see if I can avoid that. So this looks bad, but this is a temporary solution. See how these all bend, but pin one is the red cable, it's good. Pin two is green. Pin three is white, and pin four is black. So make sure none of them break off. You're gonna Put the housing back on. Make sure not to force it. It should be going straight. The threading we should go smoothly. Now make sure to get a screwdriver and screw it down. So now, connect it back to your vet scale and set it up. Okay, my vet scale is here. It's all connected. I screw down the 4-pin on there. Just goes all the way in. Put your pan back on and we're going to do the calibration again. So I'm going to go a little fast on this. While it's counting down, you're going to hold on the hold the unit button. You'll see cal. Make sure it's cal pounds. If not, just press the unit button. It's use kilograms. So right now, pounds. F56. If it's not F56, you're going to keep pressing the unit button to F56 so we can put a custom weight DP0 for zero decimal places. We're not going to use any decimal places in this example. D2, so it's within two pounds of accuracy. That's fine for an application. Cap, that's capacity. So you can see right now it's 2000, but let's say I wanted to do 1000. Press zero button to move left and press the unit button to decrement the value. And if you passed it by one, you can keep pressing zero and it's going to cycle back and go back. So 1000 load. I'm using my body weight 156. Cal on. And then no load. So I'm actually making sure there's no load on the scale itself. There's not. So no load. Now add load. Add your calibration weight that you just entered in on your scale. Press the hold button. And you'll see cal end. That's good. So now you can press down the hold button and it will exit the menu, move the weight from the scale. It'll count down and go back to zero. That's good. Now I could actually add some weight to it and you can see it's going up again. That's exactly what I wanted to do and that's how you fix a indicator like a 902 that's not reading anything at all. That's how you fix it. If it was just a home run cable, on a floor scale, it could easily be changed out, but on a vet scale, not so easy. So you have to re-solder or get a whole new scale itself. So the solution, and that's the best way to fix an indicator that does not change from zero.